Hello, my name is Rob, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, create a terminal in Deja Vu's portal, dvmms.com. So the first thing we're going to want to do is click on the Create TPN. Now this is the screen that's going to, um, you know, where we're going to generate our terminal profile number or our TPN and uh, start our uh, start the build. So the first, the well, really the next thing we're going to want to do is go to my merchant admin, and this is where we're going to find most of the information that we're going to need. So to generate the TPN or the terminal number, we're going to want to use the location ID and some zeros and then the terminal number which you can find down here under terminals. Uh, in this instance our terminal number is going to be six. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take I'm going to highlight and copy the location ID number and since it needs to be ten digits I'm going to add a couple of zeros and then the terminal number which is six I'm just going to put it on there two times so that we get to our 10. Uh, and where I found the, the terminal number, so I switch back over to my merchant admin, scroll down the terminals and click all. And here you can see that this is where we have our Deja Vu Z8 with the terminal number six. So I'm gonna take this back to the home page and I'm gonna switch back over to the Deja Vu portal. All right, and in the description, just going to put that at Z8. All right, now over here, you know, we want this the platform to say Vega hardware to Z8. The software model, we want to, you know, we're, they're based on the date. So you want to use the most recent date there, so the 2016. And the same thing with the template. You want to make sure you're using the most recent software model and template. So once I have this started, I want to go ahead and click Save Terminal. So once it's saved, it'll let us go in and uh, program all of the parameters. So it should only take another second. All right. So now that we're we're in and ready to go, down here at the bottom, I want to click on the tab here in the middle that says gift and then I want to click on the plus sign and we're going to go down the list and add the parameters so the merchant ID that should still be saved in my uh, my clipboard so I can just paste that in there uh, then the, on the other thing on this on this uh, in the select in this section we want to check the connectivity to make sure that it's uh, you know we're set to Ethernet um, you know or you can set it to dial um, but we're gonna leave it on Ethernet. So I'm gonna collapse that move down to custom. Alright so on custom this is where we're gonna to want to add the merchant's information. So now I'm gonna switch over here and I'm gonna take the location information out of MMA copy and paste the, the name, scroll down and we can take the address. And we we'll, can just continue to add all of the info and then the phone number. All right, so now like this is the information that's gonna print out on the receipt. So once we have that all loaded in, we can, uh, well, and the other thing we can check in this section is the auto batch. Um, you know, so, but with gift cards, we don't really have to worry about that. So I'm gonna uh, collapse the custom and I'll move in the registration. As you can see, there's nothing, nothing there that we need to really worry about. So I'm gonna move down to spark base. So now here, this is the rest of the parameters that we need to add. So for the, we're gonna start here with the client ID so you can find that usually up here in the top right corner or by clicking on clients and you can find the client ID from that screen. So for this location, it's 99. All right, for this location ID, it should still be that in the, oh, sorry, delete that out. So 
so it's 824499. Um, you know, and you can always go back to common if you needed to uh, copy that out. Terminal ID, if you remember, we have that set to 6. Now for the integration off, we're going to go back to My Merchant Admin, scroll down to Show Advanced Options, and it's going to be right here next to Integration Off. So I'm just going to copy that. Paste. Integration Password will be the next line down in MMA. So go ahead and copy that. Paste. So now I have the integration off and the integration password. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna keep scrolling down. That should be all that we'll need. And it is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna collapse that again. And then the last step here is just gonna click Save Terminal. It's gonna take a second to update. And it should uh, you know, once it saves. Now to verify that it did in fact save, we can go up here in the top corner and click Home, and it should be listed under the list of late, latest 50 terminals. It's this first one here, 324-499-0066. So that is how you add a terminal into the Deja Vu portal.